There is an indicator. There's an indicator called MACD. And you can see that the title of today's training is that how you can use MACD indicator. That indicator is always, if you go and check your Royal Q app, you discover that a lot of changes has come up on the Royal Q. The Royal Q app is always being updated since 2021. There's nothing wrong with the Royal Q app, nothing. So anytime you are doing Royal Q and your coins have crashed and your money has reduced from $500 to $200, it's not Royal Q that caused it to. No, I keep on saying this. Is the market. It is the market. It's the coin that went down. And it's not Royal Q that caused it. Because the developer of Royal Q, they are always looking for better way to make the ball to work better for us. When I saw those new features they brought, it was so much that people that don't attend meetings, when they see all those things, when they update their app and they see all those things, they will be lost. They will be lost. So if you don't attend Zoom meeting, I have started adopting that method. If you come and meet me, I will refer you to the video of me, the last meeting. Because the app is being updated every now and then if you don't keep in touch with the development, the changes, the new features, you will just be lost. So if you have created a video before, a video guy before, it will not be relevant again. So they have to have to create new videos. Now on the Real Q app, there are several indicators, several. If you go to your Real Q app, we're about to create a signal or you want to create a, a trade by yourself, you see all those uh indicator display under the chat so you need to know which one or which one you can use so tonight one of the indicator that i want to teach us tonight that it will help you and i've done that training before on that indicator that indicator is called mac d the name of the indicator is called mac d m a c d MACD is the name of the indicator. It's called MACD. It's the most right very well. It's called MACD. That is the name of the indicator. It's called MACD. Mark, let me look at another. Uh, okay, I think it's not It's called Mark D. Why is this thing breaking like this? Don't mind me. I'm trying to learn how to use this. It's called MACD. Why this is not right? Okay. MACD. Anyway, if you understand what I'm trying, it's called MACD. M A C D. And that M stands for moving, A stands for average, C stands for convergence, and D stands for uh, divergence. Just like some of us that have done physics before, or some of us that does not have any flair for science. You know, when we were in physics class, they were teaching us uh, convergence, divergence. There are convex lens that a, 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 a convex lens is, is a lens. It's called MACD, M A C D. MACD. I think I will go and use what I know how to use because I don't like MACD. I'm coming. Because the moment you can understand the theory of this indicator before I go to the practical. Mm -hmm. 
I'm coming. I'm like I'm trying to look for a white background to do this training. Um, let me use what I'm use. I know how to use because I remember there is a training I did on this MACD that I did that training that this indicator if you are looking for a coin, you want to enter a coin. And it always up. Most coins always form. Most coins always form. So if you can be able to get a tool that can help you to a tool that can help you to enter a trade before that trade uh, forms, so that I can be able to take like ten percent, so that I can be able to take like twenty percent. This indicator will help you. So I've done that training before. I've done that training before, and I'm repeating that training now because there was something about that training when I was doing that time, and um, I we couldn't get it another additional setting in real queue app. Instead of me waiting for a particular occurrence will happen in that indicator. They are now, they have now, Royal Q has now developed, improved on the setting in Royal Q app that the bot will do that work for you. The name of that indicator once again is called MACD. MAC, uh, me, I'm used to this one. MACD. And this M stands stand for moving. This one stands for average. This one stands for convergence. This one stands for divergence. Divergence. Now, the indicator is developed in such a way it has three, four elements. No, it has five elements. The first element that is in that indicator uh, is a line. It's a line like this. And that line is, is called a zero line. It's a zero line. That indicator has one of the first uh, feature in that indicator is a zero line. And it has a very, a very important uh, feature. And after that line, there's an histogram. Histogram that is in green color. An histogram. I'm coming. An histogram. There's an histogram. Don't worry. I need to first teach us this thing before I. The moment you can get it from here, then when I go to the practical, you'll be able to get it very well. So the histogram coming. No, I know I will get this thing. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm back again. So it has a line coming. That's a line. A black, a line that's called a zero line. Let me take this to be straight. A, an horizontal line that is a zero line. Now, after the zero line, there are other things that are on the um here. You will see some bars here. They are green in color. I'm trying to change this thing to green. I don't know why it's not changing to green. Okay, hey, yes, green. I'm coming. Some people have told me that they don't even know how to use this thing. That is a green line. Uh -huh. This is one stand for it. On that Instagram, you see some green line and red line. Instagram, green like this. They will be in different, they can be small like this. Then at the bottom, there will be another Instagram that might be coming down like this. Coming down like this. Then another green bars or Instagram. 
if you have done uh, if you have done uh, mathematics before, another bus it will be green. They might be going all the they, they, they can be going down. Then there's another another red line can form again. Bus they be forming down like this. They be forming down like this. If you have seen what I have drawn so far, type two in the chat before I continue. If you have seen the zero line and the green bars, the red bars that are down, the green line that are up, if you have seen what I've done so far, type two in the chat before I continue. Type two in the chat before I continue so that I can know that you are seeing what I'm doing. Type two in the chat if you are seeing. Okay, okay, that's good. So let me continue. Now, after these green bars and the red bars at the bottom, there's another two lines that move like a wave. There are two lines that move like a wave. They move like this, they move up. I'm coming, they move up. It goes down, it moves up, it moves down, it moves up. And that first line is called. This first line here is called mark D line or differential line. That's the first line. It's a form of it will be moving up and down, up the green histogram, then to cross the red histogram, it will cross over the green histogram. That's the way it moves up and down above the zero line in between. It goes up and down. And that first line is called MACD or differential line. Then another line can also move. And that line will move like this. It can be moving like this. It can go up. It can go up like this. It can go up like this. That line is called the signal line or dia is called the signal line or dia it's called the signal line or dia and when this line what we really want to get from this uh magdi indicator is that we are looking for a point where this yellow line and the blue line cross each other when they cross each other now, there are two types of cross. There's a cross called the golden cross and the dead cross. The golden cross or the dead cross. Now, the golden cross is the cross that we are after. Because the golden cross, when it happens, either below the zero line or above the zero line, the coin will pump. Now, you see that when this blue line here crossed, crossed this yellow line up, when it crosses the yellow line up, it is called the golden cross. It might cross it before this part drawing I'm drawing is just it's not a perfect drawing. If if I go to the magnet indicator, you see how it really works. The moment this blue line crosses the yellow line and crosses over, it's called a golden, golden, gold, golden cross. Because the moment it crosses over, go and check all the bars up, all, the, all those candles, I mean, all the candles up. You now see the candle, they will be pumping, they'll be going up. And when the blue line crosses and is pointing down like this, you can see it's, it crosses the yellow line. And started like going down. It can cross either over the green isogram or it can cross on the red isogram or it can cross above the zero line or below. The moment it cross and it's pointing down, it's pointing down, it's called the dead cross. And when that happens, we will not be seeing all, we will see the coin dumping it will be dumping 
So there are two types of cross we're after. The cross might be even at the bottom. The crosses might be at the bottom of these lines, of this, uh, of this line. Let's say the bar, the yellow line might do like this. Let me change it to yellow line. Oh, I've cleared it. So the yellow line might do like this, and the blue line might cross, might be trying to cross. The moment it cross, whether under the black line, it can do, do it can do that cross under. I'm coming. It can do that cross. It can do the cross. I want to draw that black line. All those crossing might happen at the bottom of the zero line where there are red bars. But the important thing is that the moment it crosses under the red bars and below the, the, the zero line, it is still a golden cross here. Yeah. The moment you cross and it's pointing up like this, go and check those candle up, they'll be moving up. But the movement of the coin, when the uh, blue line cross under this horizontal line, the pump might not be as much as when the blue line cross the yellow line at the top of the black line, the zero line. Let me draw the black line again. Don't worry, I'll be going to the, an example. We'll be able to see it, how it works. Now, let's say there are yellow, uh, there are green bars. The green bar stands, stands for the coin is going up. It's, it serves as the coin is going up. And the red, uh, any red line you are seeing here, you are seeing here, let's say the yellow line is like this. Let's say the yellow line goes up like this. And um, the, the blue line, let's say it's now, it was now moving. It's now crossed above these green lines. From the point it crossed here, even from around here, go and see the coin. The coin will be pumping on the canvas up here. It will be pumping. You see the coin going up, going up. That's why if you can be able to identify the crossing where the one at the bottom crosses over the other Magdi line, if you can spot it before it cross, it can give, that coin can give you 10 to 20%. Or if you want to be very, very careful, because if the cross is below this horizontal line, you can take like 2%. Or even 1.5% very fast. But if it cross above the green line, above, above this zero line, and it did the golden cross above, you can be able to take 10 to 20%. I'll be giving us an example, real example that you'll be able to see. If you are able to understood at to this point, so that I will not rush us. If you are able to identify, understood that there's a line called the zero line. And there are green histogram that starts for the coins pumping. And there are red bars that are under the zero, zero line that the coin is dumping. And you'll be able to understand that when the blue line cross the yellow, it's, it's symbolizes the golden cross and the coin can go up. And if it crosses down and it's pointing down, it's called a dead cross and the coin will be going down. If you have understood so far, this one might be your first time. Type to in the chat before I go to an example. When you now see it practically, it will stick. Before I now teach us how to use, uh, how to be able to first identify that MACD before you can know how to use the, the new updated set. And you, can, you will not be able to understand how important that new setting is. If you have understood so far, the zero line, the, yellow, uh, the green Instagram, the red Instagram, type three in the chat so that I can go to the practical aspects so that I can see it. The moment you see it, it will make more meaning to you. And if you are not clear in any place, just tell me. 
Yes, yes. They, it is it's different on Royal Q. I'm just, I can't get another color to represent it. I don't have another color to represent it. That's why I'm using the available color to represent it. If you have understood so far, now let me now go to Royal Q for us to be able to see the MACD indicator. It's a very, very powerful indicator. I tried it overnight. It will not allow this training that you are learning today. It will not allow your, you to be having floating loss. You are not going to be entering, entering coin even at the entry price. You are the one that will tell the board the right time to enter to give you profits. Now, the first rule, as you all know, is that trade coin that is the most negative. Trade coin that is the most negative. If you want to use, you use this MACD at all and the new setting, uh, make sure you go for the most negative coin. So let's enter this coin. And let me clear all these um, indicators. I want to clear everything now. You can see that they, so there's another indicator down. I'm not teaching us this one today. I'm not, I'm not going there today. I'll be doing it, all this training week by week. Now, we can see that this, uh, this chart is blank. You can see that this chart is blank. I've not added any indicator whatsoever. Uh -huh. I have not added any indicator. Please give me three minutes, I'm coming. I mean, give me one minute, I'm coming. Give me one minute, I'm coming. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Apology for that. Now, let me go back to Royal Q app. Let me go back to, please, if you are hearing me, type five in the chat, please, so I can go to the practical to show us. Don't worry, I will, I will break it down for you, don't worry. If you are hearing me, please, type five so that I will not be talking and the people are not seeing my screen, okay? Because I've done a training before, but I'm repeating that, this training. If you go to my YouTube video and YouTube channel, you see that I have done a training on this MACD. But because of the new feature that was just added, it will make your training to be more better. I particularized over the night and um, it worked for me. Now, the MACD indicator, uh, you can use it at any uh, time frame. But the time frame that was added to the setting on Royal Q is on the 15 minutes. I think they want us to be do, to be uh, taking profit very fast. They is on the 15 minutes, not on one hour, not on four hours, not on one day. So that you can easily enter the magic will be able to work very start for you. The moment is exceeds the opportunity. But uh let me look for a place where a coin point here. You can see now. You can see how this coin pumped from here, from this place, up here. That's going to, 
to be a massive profit from here up here. It's going to be massive profit. See, this is a daily chart. It's like one, two, three, four, five days for the coin to move up like that. Now, you know, Ryaki has not developed uh, the charts to the point whereby that one can measure profit range. If I go to trading view, that's where I can be able to measure the profit range. Now, if you want to know, if you are able to identify that this coin can pump, one of the indicator that can show you that this coin can pump so that you don't miss out on the massive profits ahead is the MACD. That's how the MACD is very, very important. MACD will be able to show you the MACD will be able to show you the point when you should enter to be able to take massive profits. So all the things I've been explaining, you'll be able to see it now. And that indicator, if you have been looking for a, a, a tool or an indicator that will show you that this coin is about to pump so that I can take massive profit from this coin is the MACD indicator. Now, this is the indicator here in the middle here. MACD, you click it. When you click the indicator, you see what the indicator did. Now, you see what I've been explaining to us all this why? You can see that this, the golden cross happened. There are two places where there was a cross. Now, the first place is here. Just be watching. Around here was when the line at the bottom crosses the one at the up around here. So the moment it crossed it, throws it up. The moment it crosses at this point, it was not a clear crossing, but it crossed. And that line was now traveling up. And as it was traveling up above this green histogram, the coin was pumping. The moment you can spot this thing, that there is a golden cross above the green histogram, you can see that the coin continue pumping to this place. And at a point in time, it will now see that around here, it now begin to turn down. And if you look at the moment it turned down, there was a red candle. Then it started coming down. The moment it point down, the coin started coming down. That's why it now did what we call a dead cross here. This is a dead cross here. And the coin start dumping. The coin now did was start dumping. Because it, did the, it didn't do the dead cross here. It just turned down and the moment it did the dead cross here, the coin started dumping. But we were able to identify the golden cross here when it crossed over the purple line and it was moving up. It will be traveling up. So most times when there was a, there is a golden cross, when there's a golden cross above the green histogram, the coin will pump at compared to when the golden cross happens beneath. If you understand what I've described now, before I look for another one, type four in the chat. Because you need to understand this concept first. Uh, I'll do that. If you understood what I just described now with the MACD, type four now. We are able to identify the golden cross Above the golden, above the green histogram, and you'll be able to see how that golden cross influenced the candles to be going green and it was going up. Then the moment it turned down, and now did another cross called the death cross, it started pointing down. Then the coin started dumping. Now let me look for another coin. Let me look for another, maybe another, uh, another coin. So that the cross will be very, very clear. Maybe I should look for a lower time frame. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Okay, this is on uh, one day. Let me look for short, shorter. Uh -huh. Yes. 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 Now, you can see it here again that. On the MACD now on this uh MACD indicator, the line that you'll be looking after is that yellow line. 
you will see that the line is yellow. It's when that yellow line crosses over the purple line. That's when we can be able to identify the golden cross. Are you seeing it here? This yellow line, the moment it crossed here, it was now moving parallel, parallel. But the moment it has done that golden cross here, it, the yellow line crosses over the purple line. It was now traveling parallel. So it was traveling parallel, and the coin was just growing up slightly. But all of a sudden, the yellow line now begins to move higher above the yellow, the green bars, the green Instagram. The more it is traveling up, the more the coin starts going up. It will come down as it went up again. And after some time, we now discovered that he now did another uh, cross again here. Then another red bar, right? Red Instagram is showing the coin start dumping. So it can, it's the moment you can understand this concept of the patterns of how this uh, MACD works, you can be taking massive profit. Let us look for, identify this golden cross in lower hand. It's another one here. It's another one here under the 15 minute, 15 minute chart. You can see how this green candles pumped up from here. So before he pumped, you will discover that there was a golden cross below, below here, below here, that yellow line, crosses over the purple line, below the green histogram. But as it did the cross, the coin pumped and it went down. So the crossing of the Golden cross below the green bars or even under these red bars. Anytime the golden cross is done below the green histogram or below the red histogram, the pump does not last. But anytime the golden cross happens, maybe from the bottom of the green bar and was traveling up, up, up above the green bars and the red bars, or it's even crossed above the green bars, the pump will be massive. The pump will be my let me look for another one so that I can consider it here again. He did a golden cross here too. That was a golden cross here. It crossed here. Then you can see that the coin moved up. Then it started coming down under the bar. So the pumping is always the movement of the green candles up when the golden cross happens under the green bars and uh, Red bars is always short lived, it doesn't last. That's why, if you want to take profit under when the golden cross happens under the green bar or the red bars, you should always take minimum profit like 1.5, 1.8, and let the coins deliver very fast. If you can be able to identify that, it is only when the golden cross happens. I not seen it here when it happens over the green bar. That's when it can last a little bit. You can see it was traveling over the green bar. It was traveling. That's why the coin kept on pumping, kept on pumping. Because the golden cross happened above the green bar and it was traveling up before it added a small golden uh, and dead cross here. It did another great cross here and it was coming down. If you have understood how this uh works, please type to the in the chats. I can look, I will look for another one. Let me, look, let me look for another time frame. Let me look for another time frame for another coin. Let me look for another, uh -huh. another one here. He did a golden cross here. I seen it. He did a golden cross here. This is massive. If you want to know profit, the profit to come in from this thing, if I, this profit is, is massive. I know seeing that the coin moved from 0 0.0381 to 0 0.05. That is a lot of profit too, because the golden cross happened around here and it was traveling above the profit from here to here with massive. Let me try and use my um, trading view to measure the profit. It, 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 it happened there. Um, res one hour. One. Let me check it. You will see the profit margin that happened in that place. 
because I can be able to measure the profit margin with my trading view. It's for people that does not know how to use the trading view that, um, okay, let me go to, is it res? What's the name of that coin? Uh, res USDT, one hour chart. Res USDT on Binance. It was on one hour that it did that movement. One hour. Uh -huh. You can see, yes, yes, I've seen it. Uh -huh. Perfect, perfect. Because I've already added the my indicator here. It had, there are two types of different type of indicator called Magdeo. The one I'm talking about is called moving average, moving average convergence divergence. So don't make that mistake. You can see here, you can see that it is more clearer using trading view. It's more clearer here. So let me measure the profit that happened when my own year, the you know on Royal Q, that line is uh, yellow, but my own year I use blue, I make it blue. So you can see when it did that golden cross here. I seen it. Oh, this other part. When it did that golden cross, you can see the way it moved and from a up here like a mountain before it did the red cross and uh, good the dead cross here. So let us measure the profit from here till it went very up here. Let me let us measure. Let me measure the profit. You can see that you will see that the profit will be ma will be massive. So let me go here. Profit margin. So we can measure the profit from here. So let me measure the profit margin from here. Coming. Profit margin from here. Huh? From where the golden cross happened is around here. Uh -huh. Let's measure the profit. I see the profit. I know that the profit is I know see the profit is massive. The profit was thirty four percent, thirty five percent profit. In some hours, it took some hours. So, if you can be able to understand this, how this MACD works. You will see, let me remove this stuff, safe. Don't want this thing to be on. Mm -hmm. Don't want it to be shown in the chat. If you can understand how this, I want you to appreciate how this MACD works. I seen it where it did the golden cross here, and we're able to identify the moment it did that golden cross. And in that point up, you see the profit margin it did. That's massive. 35%. If I go and check the hour, four hour charts, I will know how many um, hours it took for that to happen. Four hours. Uh -huh. Let me see where that. Okay, let me go back. I'm trying to check where that stuff happened. Uh -huh. This way, this is it. It took like how many hours? It took long. Maybe it might take like 24 hours. But the moment you can identify it, you can know Royal Q has made us to be able to increase our profit margin to like 100%. So if you can be able to discover that from what you have learned today, that the moment the golden cross happened and it tra started traveling above the green bar, you can up take up to 20%. And that's massive. That's massive. So if you have understood what I've described so far, please type seven in the chat before I now show us how to use the indicator. Yes, that means matters. So my own, uh, what I've learned so far from this, uh, using the MACD is this. You can decide to use 15 minutes charts. I discovered that the way they configured the settings on Reaki, they limited, they made the time frame to be only on 15 minutes. Only on 15 minutes. Can't do one hour, four hours. It's only on 15 minutes. So I can easily take profits. Now, since we have ordered so what I've done so far, I'm recording this so that I can be able to uh 
watch the recording. Now, let me now teach us how to use it. Because with this MACD indicator, you don't need to analyze. But with what I've taught so far, you'll be able to understand what MACD indicator works, how the golden cross works, how the dead cross works, when it crosses below the uh, the zero line is very important because the, the moment you know most of this one I was teaching us here, you no know, the line is not visible, it's not visible, but the line is there, it's in between the green and the red bars. The line is not visible, but there is an invisible line where those green histogram is sitting down, and where the red bar is pointing down, there's a line in between. So when the blue line or the dear signal line cross the one and go, start going up and cross over the zero line, the more it's traveling above the zero line, the more profit you can take. But if it's, it travels below, maybe it's, it's crossed like under the zero line, takes more profit like 1.5% or 2%. So that the it, uh, the uh, the bot can be able to give you profit very fast. So how do you now use it? Now, when you're using the magnet indicator, just let's say you want to go for GFT, that's the most negative. That's the most negative. Now, you just go to create, magic strategy, click create, click next, then click three settings at the bottom. The moment you get here, you see that um, I want to pick a new coin so that I want to pick a new coin that I've not read before. Okay, let me pick this one. I understand. Um, click create. Magic click create. Click next. Click three setting. Then when it gets here, go to manually create. You can see that the setting has changed. The setting of Royal Key has changed. And I've done a video on this. You know, before the moment you click manually create, this is not there before. So here, from here, you can click this place to choose your strategy settings. And from here, I love what they did now, so that you don't ever make the mistake of putting your strategy mode on warehouse mode. Because if you put it on warehouse mode, the bot just buying, buying, buying. So when you click it, choose a strategy settings, you pick the capital, uh, the trade setting for your capital, you put the warehouse mode. Ensure you change it to some beam return sentiment. Ensure you off the air margin call because if you don't off it, it will not work. Then when you now scroll down, you scroll down because you have already imported your settings already. So where we are going is here, where you see um ensure that it's on one shot, very, very important. This is where we are going. You now see where they wrote trigger price. Yeah, first buy. Triggering condition, trigger price. Do not click that trigger price. Do not show you uh, two, four things. If you want to use the trigger price, you want to use the RSI. You want to use the KDG. You want to use MACD. I'm going to train us on other this, this other ones every week. So I want to focus first on this. So we are doing on, you want to use MACD strategy. You want to use MACD strategy. And then um, you can see that by default, they didn't even put, they didn't put their cross. They only put golden cross. That you want the bot to buy when there's a golden cross. When there's a golden cross. And you want the bot to buy when the line either cross above the zero line. Are you not seeing it? Greater than zero. That means the line I was showing us all this way from the beginning. That line is called zero line. Do you want the ball to buy when the line crosses above? That is greater than, greater than, or when the line did that golden cross under this line? That is, you change this one to less than. If you click less than, no, if you click less than, the bot will only buy when it sees a golden cross below the zero line less than zero and it will only do this on that time frame of 15 minutes then you can click save click sure 
then you can now activate your trade. So the moment you activate the trade, the bot will not start immediately. That's the difference between entering a coin, looking for the most down coin, then you click and you want the bot to start immediately. The bot will not start immediately. The bot will wait until the instruction you give to it works, until it discovers that there is a golden cross either below the zero line, either below the zero line or above the zero line, depending on the instruction you gave to it before it will now start the trade. I tried one and it worked. I'm coming. I tried one and it worked. This is o'clock. I never knew that this meeting will be long like this. It will not start immediately. It will not start immediately. It will not start immediately. It will be waiting, waiting, waiting until there is a golden cross before it starts the trade. So it's different from entering a coin and I want to start trade immediately. So we can see that in this account now, you can see that I have this account as now writing dollar, but I am practicing extreme fund management. If it's somebody that have this kind of now eighteen dollar, will have done like four coins. If you do that, you be put yourself in trouble, serious trouble. I have a lot of people that are in my team now because they have huge capital. They are just doing several any signal sent to the group. They will enter. They will enter. They are in like four coins. All their coins are in serious, serious floating loss because. If you enter too many coins, you will have issues. Despite that this account has several, uh, a lot of balance, it is man is doing extreme for management. So now I did one trade with this account. I'm coming. So I don't, it's better you keep your USDT than to enter a coin and you enter zeros, um, floating loss. It's better so that your capital will not be held down. I think I there is a coin that okay. What's the name of that coin? Um, that coin delivered. I'm coming. That coin delivered. It's not yesterday. Uh -huh. BNX. BNX. That was a coin that I entered and I practicalized that. BNX. It was on the most negative coin. I want to show all the set I use for that coin. See, you can see the set I use for that coin. I use the golden cross for that coin that when this coin does the golden cross and is under the, below the zero line, it didn't take time. When you discovered, it will never start to, until it sees that opportunity and if your trade will just end immediately. And Make sure that you increase your price. It didn't give more profit. You just buy the first time, second time, it gave profit. And I make sure I didn't allow the take profit to be too high because the golden cross was happened, happened below the zero line. So I knew that the profit will not be much. So I just took 1.8. So, but if I studied that the golden cross is going to happen above the zero line and it's going to happen, it happens, it's about to happen above. Instagram, I can increase the take profit to like 10% and I'll leave it. And it will not start. It will not start until there was a golden cross. Whichever you have, wherever you have tell the board to do the uh triggering of that trade. And if you want to, because it can happen very fast and it can end very fast, you cannot increase your first buying amount. Maybe if you have enough capital, if you put like $50 here, you take the first one, take the second one. If it, do, it, it, it take just 1.8%, it buys the first time and so another portion, it buys the second time and it take 100%, that will be what, like $1.8. The trade will end very fast. I will not be sure of any floating loss. So if we can be able to identify like five coins or even three coins in a day like this, that is about $5.4 in a day, which we've seen many time frame. So that you will not be entering floating loss. It's better you trade conservatively. 
conservatively using this strategy than just jumping to trade and your, your trade is taking long. I have shared so many strategies. So you are the one that will determine the one you want to use. Let me stop here so that I know some people have questions before. I will not end, go to any other agenda today. This is my focus on the training today. So if you have any question, um, you can ask your question now. Okay, I can see some questions in the... So on React, we should only check MACD. Yes, yes, MACD on 15 minutes. So this video is recorded. So most times, the bot will never take that trade, though. It will not, until you see that good increase, it will not take that trade. So if you are, if, if, if you are able to understand the concept of how the MACD works, then you'll be able to know how to set your trade. So it's better you do conservative tradings that will not be encountering a country long floating loss. So there are many ways you can use the Reiki bot. Now, this is just one. And yes, I did a video, and as a video I will send to us in the group. I will even do that video later and share it in the group. So any, any question on the training so far today? Any question on today's training? You can unmute your mic to ask your question. Please unmute your mic. This is a new, for people that have never attended my training before, this is new, but it is recorded. Mm, yes, MacBook. I want other people that don't understand to ask questions. Don't be as if you understand. Ask questions wherever you don't understand. Ask questions. Hello, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you so much for the training, sir. You're welcome, sir.